I know what you guys are probably thinking. Okay, you're being really dramatic. It's not that cold. It is that cold. It is that cold. If it were up to me, I would have spent the whole day inside today. I did that yesterday until like six and then I ended up going to the gym with my roommate. I have been using my trusty sheep hot water bottle literally 24 seven. Basically for people who didn't grow up in South Africa or grew up in the US and don't know about these, I'm sure they have them other places. All you do is you open this top, pour in boiling hot water and hold it because it makes you warm. I literally would bring one of these to school in the morning every single day to school when I was growing up there. When we went last summer, I made sure to get one. I think I got it at pick and pay. Anyways, I also wait, woke, oh my god, I also woke up this morning craving Maltabella, but it cost a million thousand dollars to get it in the US, so yeah, basically I can't have that. And I'm also wearing this bear sweater underneath here, this is my outfit. So, I also do not know how people make balaclavas look cute because I literally just look like an egg. I don't even care because, excuse me. Because I'm so cold. I'm not wearing any concealer or like makeup on my face. Loki, my skin is looking like okay. I know this might be controversial, but Loki, I was in my like era during COVID. Like my skin was perfect because I was eating really good food, literally sleeping 24 7, sitting outside every day, like really just enjoying myself, working out. Like I had all the time in the world to just do self care. So I feel like I looked better than I ever have. Anyways, um, I'm not saying I wish that could happen again. It's not what I'm saying. Just miss her. but I weirdly finished like really early so hopefully that's not bad I think that they must have put like a much bigger flag on this flagpole because I do not remember it being that huge that flag is huge So I decided to do my nails but not talk at all so I'm just gonna talk about it over here. Basically I'm busy soaking my nails in this clip and then I get 100% pure acetone and pour it in a bowl like I'm doing right now. Um, the reason I use 100% pure acetone is because I put gel on my nails. I do my own gel nails um, and it's it takes it, um, the gel off a lot um, quicker and um, easier. So here I'm pushing back my cuticles. Obviously there's a lot to push back, I guess. And now 
I'm taking cotton balls and putting them in the acetone um, so that I can like basically rest my fingernails on the cotton balls um, and the acetone will peel off the gel. Once I have put them in the acetone, I take my little tool and I just softly like scrape off the gel residue. Um, sometimes this can take a while, but it's really satisfying. It's like peeling paint kind of, or I don't know what a better way to describe it is, but it's very satisfying. And then I put some clear polish on and put them under the UV light to dry them. <laughs> 